belly stretches series. You can start out, you want to have this, and this is similar to what we did on the Cadillac, standing on the Cadillac with the foot in the loop. I like this one better because I can actually get myself a little more square here. I can put, I have the feedback of having the ladder behind me. So the first one is the hamstring stretch where I'll stand here. I'm going to, if I can, I'm going to keep that heel pressed against the ladder. And I'm going to get both hips to press back against the ladder. And then I'm going to flex that, this hip back into the ladder to just keep my hips level. So it's kind of nice because I have the feedback. If somebody is uh, crooked, they're going to be like this, so you'll see it right away. And that's the compensation. That would be somebody who's split <coughs> unevenly, if they're working towards split, um, if one of your dancers is working towards split. So here, you can really get that pure hamstring stretch. If it's somebody who's quite flexible, you can take it um, into a bit of a forward hinge, keeping the arms open here. So the nice thing about this little series, we can go from here. Actually, I'm going to switch to the other leg just so I can turn and face you. So this would be on this side. Then I can come from my hamstring stretch here and turn into my side bend or side, side stretch or adductor stretch. Here I'm going to hold in that same position, still trying to keep this hip and pelvis into the ladder. I can take this hand across and then go also into that side bend, reaching towards that foot. Right, if you can reach it, or if not, just keeping it to the side here. So that would be my nice side stretch. And then I can take my body round facing forward. Right, so a lot of people aren't open enough in the hips, or smaller people. You may need to bring it up a notch onto the either the ledge here, or if you're wanting to bring the small moon box in front, you can do that. Or they can, you know, they can climb the ladder. They're really quite small. They're not flexible. And here, I'm trying to get this hip to turn down. Right, so I want it to turn down here. I'm trying to keep my trunk upright as I go through that stretch here. And from here, I can slide back and bend that knee. This would put me into my quad stretch here. Right. And then I can also slide it down in this quad stretch, which most everybody can do. So this is a nice one. Here's that kind of runner's lunge stretch. But it's nice to have that leg support if you can. Again, somebody who's not as flexible, you may need to bring it up a notch onto the ledge or onto the knee box. The thing that goes wrong here the most is this. Right, so now my butt's out the back and I feel no stretch at all. But if I push the hips forward, and I really squeeze that butt forward, I really now feel the stretch in the front of the hip. So you don't want them to just go, oh my god, you touch my heel to my butt, because now I'm actually really not stretching that much. I really want to be I want to be forward, I want to keep that knee pointed straight at the ground, and I want to bring my trunk up and squeeze my butt forward in order to get that stretch. And then if they have more motion, they can lean backward and get more stretch in that front of the leg. So here I can find my balance point on the lift here, right, so I can find here, and I am actually a little supported in that, so it makes it nice to hold. From there, I can go right to my single leg stretch, right, pausing. Here, this shin is parallel, right, the right hand at the right ankle, the left hand at the knee, and the purpose of these hands, again, is to steer that leg, so my leg can't go in like that or out like that if I'm holding it here. Right, so this is our single leg stretch. Right, we have double leg stretch. We have crisscross. Right, we have double leg lower lift. Right, now this one's hard. And we have a single straight leg stretch. Now we really straighten the left of that leg. And switching pulse, switch pulse, 